Blessed love my African people. Yeah, the reasoning and all. The unwanted, unfriendly truth. Yeah. And we are talking about the brain, the mind fucking of the black people. And I get the feeling that there is this group of people, wherever they are, you know, them skyscrapers are on an island by themselves, all naked, hands stretched out to their sides, eyes thrown back, head thrown back with their eyes rolling over in their heads, looking up in the sky, shaking at the knees, weak as fuck and trembling, but they can't drop on the ground or to give up the moment, this long lasting moment of a everlasting fucking awesome orgasm that they're going through just fucking our brains yeah and it's so fucking good that yeah and we're brains our brains have been fucked so long that we're numb to it now we don't even know that it's going on within the stupidity that we're doing it's making sense that's how long we have been fucked and continuously fucked yeah and the person that's driving past in his car sitting beside me in a taxi or at work or wherever we're all being mind fucked drive faster go create an accident kill somebody kill yourself yeah work for that money go buy the hair go buy the makeup show the world that you're ashamed of yourself the children of mind fucking. Those are the children of mind fucking. And we keep doing this over and over because we're enjoying it too. Even though it's like we don't know what's happening. But we're enjoying it. And it's even sweeter for them. How is it that a, that, that a police can body slam a woman to the ground? Draw across the pavement like not even animal we should have not treat that way there. And the country not out of rage. Yeah, watch the video that terribly and back to pleasure and business as usual. How are we not out of rage, black people? Jamaicans. Until those in the north and the south can demonstrate and take on the issues of those in the west and, and, and the east as their own. Change will never come. I guess it's going to be hard because we're all being mind fucked at the same time. <laughs> And we feel so good in the stupidity. We are drunk on this fucking. And, and, and the fact that we are drunk is why we are drinking the alcohol and being even drunk some more. Trying to get an out of the drunkenness of the mind fucking. Why, why we can't snap out of it? How can it be that a 13, a 14, a 15 year old going to get raped and murdered and burned? And the country is not outraged. And black people is not outraged. I mean, on the ground, demonstrating, locking down the country, sending out these wicked motherfuckers to be prosecuted. How are we not doing that? Because we are being mind fucked. The, 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 the big cocks of policies and laws and hype and fashion and lifestyle and vanity, luxury, just stabbing at our, uh, away at our brains. How is it that we're going to go to, we got to the place where we're going to celebrate our birthdays looking like somebody else? Shouldn't our birthdays be celebrated as being as close as possible to when we did born? Take off all the worldly foolishness off ourselves, looking at the mirror and say, yeah, give thanks for life within me. I appreciate the, the, the African you that you are. Just as the white person celebrate themselves as them white, the Indian, the Jews. How did we get to that place? Oh, sorry, I know. Mind fucking. And we spend so much time on the things that are not really positively, meaningfully benefiting, benefiting life itself. And by the time we realize and say, want to do this or that, we, we will weak and, 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 and all and live out all our life doing the foolishness. That's the child of mind fucking. Those are the children of mind fucking. 
How is it that an Indian girl with long flowing hair down to her ass is still going to go down to the, 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 the cosmetic shop and buy four or five packs of hair similar looking to hers to put it on her head to celebrate her birth if you got a party and just to feel confident within herself and my, my sharp to cut off her own just to put on that. That's the result of that's a child of mind fucking. My hair is too tough, it's too hard to manage. I don't have the time. And this is the time you don't have. Going to work for two weeks and wait for your pay. That's the time you don't have. Go to the ATM line and wait for an hour to draw that money. That's the time you don't have. To go to the cosmetic store that might be full because everybody in there is being mind fucked and want to buy the same things. So you got to wait a two hours before you can spend your money for it. That's the time you don't have. And then you go to the hairdresser that the shop might be full and you have to wait three hours to go and spend your money to do, put this thing on your head. That's the time you don't have. And then to sit in the chair for the next three to four hours to get this done and then pay for that service. That's the money and time that you don't have. To spend on your hair. Two weeks and counting. And the hour that you have to get up early to, to, to comb this hair that you bought on your head. That's the time you don't have for yours. And that makes sense to us. What's going on in our heads, in our brains? Why we born brown skin? But now taking our money and our time to get bleaching product for rubber skin so we can get brown some more. What the fuck is going on? That's a brain impregnated by the mind fucking. Producing children in the form of actions of stupidity that's being loved and hugged by Others that have been pre impregnated by the same brain fucking. Oh yeah, the child of a mind that's been fucked. And we're saying to our children, hey, don't, don't interrupt the flow now. Open your mind. Let them fuck your mind. Because if you try to resist, it's going to hurt. And even me as a parent might, parents might turn against you. And we can't afford that. We can't afford to upset the system. So just go with the flow. And let it happen. Enjoy it. After a while you won't feel anything. It will become normal. Don't try and interrupt the brain fucking. Because I might have to fuck you up. Are we seeing this? I know we're living it, but are we seeing it? Are, are we aware of it? Our minds are being raped and we are allowing it. We are enjoying it. We are building everybody else's unity and, and, and togetherness except our own. We, we don't even know our identity. Call us African right now. We are ready to war and fight for that. Who is African? What are you talking about? Why are we wishing for smaller nose? Why are we wishing for long straight hair? That's evidence of us not even caring about who we are. And it's, it's like there is no more spiritual connection. To, to, that is if we believe in being created in, in God's image and likeness. It's like there is no thought of that. And if this is what we're doing to the image and the likeness of God, what are we saying to the spiritual creativeness of our existence? That's the child of mind fucking. The words and the actions are being produced by our minds being impregnated, being raped. And they are there enjoying every fucking moment of it. An everlasting, enduring orgasm. 
because they don't have to do any other work. They have us just willingly opening up our brains and our minds and say, fuck away. Are you really enjoying yourself? What else can I do for you? Do you want to fuck away some more? And we don't see anything wrong with this. The way we think, the things we do. And that's the mastery of this thing. Is that we're not even seeing what we're doing to ourselves. I have to hand, in, hand it to them. They are good. Or is it that we are just fucking stupid? And the mind fucking, the brain fucking continues. Because we are happy to breed the children to continue having their minds fucked. Good job. What are we doing? Hey, you, black people, wake up. Full time, no, man.